Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this truss by method of sections. I have analyzed this truss using method of joints also. You can click the link in the description and watch that video. In this truss, we have to find the horizontal reactions HA and HB. Also, we have to find the vertical reaction VB. In the method of joints itself, I have explained clearly how to find them. You can click the link in the description and watch the video. We have to find this angle. Let us keep the angle as theta. In the opposite side and in the adjacent side, we have the same dimension that is 4 meter. So the angle should be 45 degree. Otherwise, we can use a tan theta formula. Using that also, we will get a 45 degree. I am going to make the first section like this. And I am going to take the right side portion and do the analysis. First, we can take a moment about C. When we take a moment about C, we should not consider FCD. The remaining forces are FDE and 16. 16 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. FDE is also acting in the clockwise direction so it is also positive and the distance is 4. For FDE we will get a negative value that means it is compressive. Now let us take a moment about E. When we take a moment about E we should not consider FDE. The remaining forces are FCD and 16. 16 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. About the point E, FCD is not perpendicular. We can resolve FCD with respect to DE. To make perpendicular to DE, we have to make FCD vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. About the point E, FCD would be acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Since we have resolved it, we have to multiply with the cos 45. For FCD, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Alternatively, we can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find FCD. 16 is acting downwards so that it will be negative. FCD is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. Since FCD is acting upwards, it will be positive. And we have to multiply with the cos 45. In this way, for FCD, we will get 22.63 kN. Now, I am going to make the second section like this. And I am going to take the right side portion and do the analysis. You can see that here there is no inclined force. There is only horizontal forces and vertical forces. In this case, we can use sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma h is equal to 0 and find the unknowns very easily. Let us apply sigma v is equal to 0. Fce is acting downwards so that it will be negative. 16 is also acting downwards, so it is also negative. For FCE, we will get a negative value, that means it is compressive. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. FBC and FDE are acting towards the left side, so both of them are negative. We know the value of FDE, 16, and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply as negative. Finally, for FBC, we will get 16 kN and it is tensile. Now, I am going to make the third section like this and I am going to take the right side portion and do the analysis. Let us take a moment about B. When we take a moment about B, we should not consider FBC and FBE. The remaining forces are 16, 8 and FAE. 16 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. 8 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. FAE is also acting in the clockwise direction so it is also positive 
and the distance is uh, 4. Finally, for FAE, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us take a moment about A. When we take a moment about A, we should not consider FAE. The remaining forces are FBE, FBC, 8 and 16. 16 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. 8 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. FBC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. About the point A, FBE is not perpendicular. We can resolve it about AE. To make FBE perpendicular to AE, we have to keep it in the vertical direction. To keep it in the vertical direction, we need 45 degree. About the point A, FBE is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 and we have to multiply with the cos 45. We know the value of FBC 16 and it is tensile. Let us apply that. Finally, for FBE, we will get 33.94 which is tensile. Alternatively, we can find FBE using sigma v is equal to 0. These two are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. We have to make FBE vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. FBE is acting upwards, so that it will be positive. And we have to multiply with the cos 45. In this way, for FBE, we will get 33.94, which is tensile. Now, we are going to make the fourth and last section. We can make the section like this. And I am going to take the left side and do the analysis. We can apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find FAB which is 0. FAE we have already found but I wanted to calculate one more time. We can apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. Both of these are acting towards the right side. So both of them are positive. Finally for FAE we will get 40 kN which is compressive. Here I have tabulated all of the forces. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.